wonder what they are repairing and what that is for. Whatever they're doing, it is moving. Very slowly, but it is moving. This was in over here by the, the, the Zagor Cafe, but it turns out that it's right here by Iron Gwazi. And I was told Iron Gwazi will have a delayed opening today. We have a crane sitting right there by Iron Gwazi. Good morning, all you junkies. We got junkies out there? Yep. Wow. Hey, guys. We're back again, and we didn't quite finish up last week's video about what's next for Bush Gardens. So we're gonna go ahead and continue that today. I, I think it's uh, appropriate. appropriate so we can finish it up and show you what is the possibilities for Bush Gardens in the future. And on that note, don't touch that dial. One word, crazy. Okay, two words, crazy busy. It's not even 11 o'clock. Sheeta Hut has a 100 minute wait. Cobra's Curse has a 40 minute wait. And I have no idea how long of a wait Monty has. Are you guys ready for a hello? Well, it's only about a month away. Yeah, we are uh, Linus Rose. Yep. She be resting. And there's my favorite VIP, Phil. So is this where they're gonna put Vegas? Right. Can't wait. Get your screams on. I'm here at uh, Phoenix Rising, the newest, latest addition to Bush Gardens, Tampa. She's a beaut. She's, yeah, she's just a wonderful ride. And actually, for being a family coaster, she kind of packs a little bit of a punch. She's got a little bit of a thrill to her for family style. Not, not upside down thrill, but it can pull some pretty good G-forces, especially right here in this section. Um, yeah, it, it's, it, it's, a, it's a great addition. And hey, it's great for those people that are only 42 inches high. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and hop right on and uh, get another couple of runs in on it maybe today. We're gonna have some fun. And then we're gonna give you some details about what we heard and know that may be happening in the future for Bush Gardens. Not a five year plan. I, I can't foresee that close that far into the future but yeah we got something happening within the next year or two if you look way over there they're still working on the netting so the sky ride is not opening up quite yet Good thing about this ride is the 
their height requirement is 42 inches, so all these little kids can hop right on. And now it's down to 25 minutes. Okay, that was just up to 60 minutes. Now it's down to 25 minutes. But either way, when it's that busy, and you got crowds like this all over the place, that could only mean one thing. School is about ready to start and everybody's getting in their vacations in before school starts. So the parks are gonna be crowded just for a short little time longer. Right? Yep. Right, yep. Like they cleared this area up and if you look way back there uh, I forget what they were called but you can usually only see them on the train ride but now you can see them here I'm gonna check on this marker over here and yeah the marker is still there one thing that we also noticed was they took the work walls away from here. So this is opened up. So you can see everything here. And uh, unfortunately, there does not look to be any progress here in Jangala. So we hope uh, something starts happening soon never know but hopefully we can get something happening soon what they planning on doing with this area who knows now, so far for hollow scream we've only saw just a couple of areas and uh, yeah not too much did you see much hollow scream stuff? No, nope, not very. No. No. We're just gonna go ahead and ride some more rides. Maybe hop on Shikra and yeah, I don't think I probably not ti uh, Tigris, but definitely uh, definitely ride on Shikra. And then we'll head up closer to the front and see if they reopened Iron Gwazi yet or not. At least we got uh, Kumba is back open. And well, it doesn't look like the log flume is operating. There's no water. But uh, we're going to go over here and head over to Shikra. And then we're going to head over to Iron Gwazi and see if Iron Gwazi reopened. <laughs> oh, by the way, the other ride that's closed is Falcon's Fury. Well, guys, from what I noticed, only about maybe 30% of you are subscribed. You know what? If you like the content, if you want updates, and you want to see all the events and everything that's happening, you gotta hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Do it! Now the other great place for Hollow Scream is right by the grill area, which it looks like they're getting some of the decorations up. 
Interesting that they're using Christmas lighting. I uh, wonder what that's supposed to be all about. Oh yeah, some Christmas lights here. Christmas lights up here. And Christmas lights all strung along up here. Some of them are a little bit low. So they had the past couple of years a windmill here and a whole bunch of scarecrows yeah so now they got lights here any ideas what they're gonna do with this area Another place where there's hollow screen decorations is right here in front of Sesame Place. But um, there's nothing here this year around. Not yet, at least. I still have a month to go, so you never know. The scares could be coming at you from all sides. But the other thing is uh, they could probably be thinking about the little kids next to Sesame Place and not putting any scare zones next to them. What do you think? Yeah. Possibly. All right. Well, let's go see. Uh, let's go check out our pink chickens while we're here. And of course, we have our pink chickens keeping cool. Well, of course. You got to be cool if you're pink. <laughs> right? No. It's cool to be pink. No. Only cool men wear pink. Then where's your pink? You're wearing green. Um, trying to stay cool too. <laughs> Light colors. That's something new. We have a Coca-Cola Mr. Yeah. <laughs> and there's Sydney again. <laughs> and there's our favorite person, Sydney again. Hi, Sydney. We gotta get wet again, right? Oh yeah. All right. You wanna get wet? Yeah, this way. Oh. Time to get wet again. Yeah. Hi! Yeah. We're definitely doing something here. Now, no, no. <laughs> yeah, there's Buzz. Buzz and, um, oh, I forgot what her name was. Oh, hello. Not these two. The blue ones. Yes. Buzz and I forget. Remember. What's the uh, the uh, hey. Hisense Macaws? Buzz oh, and Safari. 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 And who's these two? And Buzz. Buzz. These two are Skipper, who's back is to us, and Maestro, who is facing us. Maestro the with the green. Maestro is blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. And Skipper is. And the Skipper's green. a red. Yep. Red face. Oh. They are so beautiful. I love them. Well, what did you guys think? Uh, yeah, not not too much. Hollow Scream is coming, so so. Get those tickets. Get those tickets. You buy them early, you can save. And uh, yeah, not too much about what the future plans are. And yeah, Iron Gloss is still not operational yet. Today. Um, they're they're working on it. They're trying to get it opened up for today, but from what I gather, they've been working on it for the past couple of mornings. Um, it's just, it's just, it's just that hot of a ride. It just keeps on burning up wheels, burning up the track. They got to keep it running somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I, I don't know. At any rate, if you think you know, or you just want to say what you think you know. 
go ahead and write down in the comments what you think uh, the future plans for Bush Gardens is. I, I can tell you my take on it. The Jungala area is going to get a makeover. Yeah. What they're doing with it, who knows? But definitely something is definitely happening in Jungala. I went on Kumba and the Bush Flyers is still out in the treetop parking lot. So that and the fact that they removed the remote controlled vehicles there by the bumper cars, a very good sign that that's where they're gonna put the Bush Flyers. Yeah, but I thought that was in their plans for a long time ago. Well, no, that was just rumors. Oh. That's just rumors. But now the rumors are starting to look like they're gonna come true. So, you want to keep up with all the rumors, all the news, all the special events. Subscribe. Subscribe and hit that bell for notifications.